because I'm the next day with all that the problems. So yeah, let's come around the front and I'll show you. Yeah, this is why I had to be replaced this bit here, or the whole bit around there, and also inside the back in there, there's the like a little sleeve that had to be changed as well. So undo it to load up. Putting the straps on, I've just loaded up. There we go, straps are on. Well, no, it's not, it's the size. But that's how simple it is. Right, I'm now back at the stack. I'll just remove the straps. There we go. Monday afternoon, it's about one o'clock, but I've just gone. I've been battling for about probably just over an hour, hour and a quarter, and look, it started raining again. So I'll just keep going. It's only spitting at the moment. We'll keep going just to see what happens. But I'm looking at what's coming, I don't think I'll be able to carry on for much longer. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Right, back bailing again. I don't know if you can see up that window. Rain drops again. I've done nine bales now. When it started raining, I've done seven bales. So I had to drive about 25 minutes, do seven bales, but now I think it stopped. I think it stopped raining now. If we look over here, you can see that the sun is out. It's just this dark bit over here, but we just have to see what happens. But it's getting a bit uh, a bit bad doing uh, seven or eight bales and it starts raining again, but we'll just see how we get on. The moisture's still good at the moment, we're still 13, 14%, so hopefully it'll blow over. It's not quite far off midnight now. I'm back on our own, our own land here. And, uh, got GPS on now, so nice straight rows. So managed to set the GPS up. I've got about, I don't know, 20 acres to do here, I think. Right, just started sumoing for this cover crop. Got the um, GPS set up at just under, it's three metre working width, but I've put it slightly less than three metres. It's all 2.97, so you don't get a, to give a bit of an overlap. So it's putting well. Eight temps and wheels with them that set at 10k. And performance. because this is a, a 260 this is my old um, tractor and this is unboosted I think what is it it must be about 230 unboosted I think so we're running about 230 horsepower right here we are with this sumo we're just setting the depth of it we're going down about 22 centimeters which is but that's about going in about nine inches so yeah so we just got this I've just got to set up just got to go back and finalize the, the, the drill and the settings on that yeah no it's doing it it's doing a good job
great surface. Right, we've just got the drill out here it is. Just doing some uh, some checks, we've done one round. Just got a few adjustments to make it's going in a bit deep, so we have to put these extra collars in here so they can go in quite so deep. We've just done one round, we're just about taking the paint off the off the new points. Right, we're now about halfway across this first field is about eight hectares, say halfway across, probably means I've done about three hectares. You say eight is half of three, but it's not because the headland I've done 3.4 hectares. So it's, it's, it's not hard because I have to go three rows around the outside of this field, which is quite a lot. It's probably almost a hectare I'd say of, of headland on this field. I'll just go out to check if the seed is coming out. You can see the so small, you can see it down here, these, look there, there's seed, yeah there's the seed, and then there's some even tiny one, that seed as well. The yeah, other all seem to be working. Yeah, the sumo's through there, it's actually finished the outside the field, and there you can see the little mirror. And the drill. Yeah, he's virtually finished the first field. We will leave the head until, until afterwards when I get closer, he'll go on to the next field and I'll just call him back. Right guys, I'll just give you a, a, a open the back window so you can hear a bit of sound of the power hour and what's going on behind me. I will adjust the volume, don't worry. When, uh, when this gets edited. There we go. We've only got the PTO is only going up 540, 550. And obviously the front PTO isn't going round. So, and uh, we're using about 94, 95, 96, 98 percent engine power because we are under full load. I've got it set at 10 kilometres now. We're currently putting about 8.3, 8.4. So that speeds up as you can see it now to 8.6. And that's so down depending on how how tough it is. Right, it's now about quarter to ten, something like that, quarter to ten, ten o'clock. Well, I can't see the lights aren't very good because I normally have to plug the lights in on the front of the tank. Well, I haven't, I haven't plugged them in, so I've got to go home and plug them in because I've got these lights here, these big round ones, but they're not high enough. You can actually see the light going off the, off the tank there. So I'm now going to head back to the farm and then while I don't have the lights in, I'm going to take me 20 minutes. So I'm also going to take this screen protector the back of this tractor because I can't really see out now it's dark so this was my view before we just saw the damn lights out we've got all the bonnet and that as well we're up but in front of the tank it wasn't very good so now we're on this you can see the field has got a far better view of what I'm doing so it doesn't matter what's on the bonnet it's just I need to see in front of the tractor a bit better so yeah it's nearly uh midnight now, I think it's now time for a shift change. Um, the worker is going in to get some sleep now and uh, my wife has come to take over him for four hours. And then uh, me and my wife are going to get and then um, the other lad is going to come and take over. Right, it's now about Half past one, I think. It's uh, me and my wife on the tractors now. Until four o'clock when we get the next shift change. Directly by then, I'll probably call her out. So she's, she's 
just going a bit faster than me. But I'm twice the width, so just see what happens. Just gone four o'clock, we're now finishing our shift. Well, it's now Wednesday morning, it's about half past nine. I've just taken over back on the drill after having about three or four hours of sleep, I think. Taking over from the other guy. So yeah, it's going up too bad. I'm on a different field now. Um, yeah, going about nine and a half, ten kilometres an hour. I've drilled the cover crop now, so now I've got the rolls on the back. These are ten point. Three meter constant contours. You can see it on the side there. And I've got the. I think they're slightly over 10.3. I think they're about 10.35 or something. But I've got the, the GPS set here. I'm using that. I think I've got the the, the working width set as 10.3. So if you can look over here. See. It. I don't know if you can see that. Not getting any overlap at all. I think we've got one ring. The end ring is overlapping. On the finishing up rolling in this uh, cover crop here, I'm just on the last row around the headland. I've just used to set up the GPS thing with the headland turn. So we'll just see how it goes in this corner. It says it cuts the corners off a little bit early because obviously it can't turn too sharp. So we'll just see what happens with the wheels. Yeah, the wheels are starting to go round, round the corner we go. Yeah, I didn't do too bad a job, but it's pretty good. Oh, the window here is out, it's not, it's overlapping by probably 10 centimetres. I reckon something like that. We have to grab the steering on this corner. I don't think we'll quite go around here. Let's we'll see what happens. I can tell when it's going to start pulling me off. Yeah. I, have to, I have to grab it and do it on this. What I'll do on this corner, I'll just go, normally I need to go right, I'll just go left like this, put it around tight, and then go back into it here like this. I'll be the right distance away from that. Then I'll get back on the line. Seconds. I'll, I'll mainly drive around this corner, I think. And then we're now 18 centimeters off. So Whoa! Hey, calm down, tractor. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, yeah, we're now back on line. And we now have the similar overlap to what we had before. Yeah, we've got a similar overlap there, about 10 centimeters. Yeah. On the last run, so I've almost finished. And then we're going back on the bailers again, so. Right, just finished the cover crop, now we have to take all the gear off. Right, I'm back on the baler again. Been going about, I don't know, half, three quarters an hour. And it's a ma massive field over here. Straw, as far as you can see. I mean, the other baler is actually on the same field. It's over there somewhere. It's such a big field, I can't even see it at the moment. Yeah, we're in fairly decent straw, going about seven, seven and a half kilometers an hour. There is a few, I think you can see it on there, a few drops of small rain on the window, but I don't think we're, the clouds up there don't look too bad. There's one a little bit there, but I don't think we're any, aim, aim for anything to stop us, I hope. So, yeah, I was watching, looking at my uh, analytics from my, um, from my video the other day. I reckon some of you must be superstitious. So I started talking about Friday the 
because it was last Friday, it was Friday the 13th, and uh, I looked at my thing, and as soon as I started talking about that, loads of people stopped watching it. So obviously some of you guys must be a bit, um, a bit superstitious. But anyway, we're bailing. But this is it, if you look at the ground, you can't actually see the rows of corn, because it was so wet last year. A lot of corn was actually broadcast on with a um, uh, fertilizer spreader sort of thing, and then just uh, harrowed in. So you can't actually see the rows on the field like you can in a normal year. A long, nice straight road. So I've got the GPS set and set up now. Just experimenting with it. I cannot whatever. Uh, Whatever I do, I cannot get the, seem to get the width right. It'll be right one way, but not the other way. I can't understand why, because it's perfect on the drill. Whether the combine doesn't play out the straw quite in the middle, I really don't know, but I've had this in previous years. Whatever combine I've had, I don't know if it's because it's, when you get a slight breeze, the straw doesn't fall straight out of the combine, it comes out at an angle. Because no, uh, it's such a long row, I just hit remark on each row. That's not too much of a hassle. Alright guys, here we are bailing again, it's about 10 o'clock at night I think. I had a few issues this evening. The other baler has gone home, because he can't get any pressure out of his baler. And I've got um, sledge issues. I'm having to let them out individually because uh, I can't uh, get to work as I have a look in the morning. But this field is actually probably like that quite a slope body. I'm sure I filmed a bit on the when I was on this very field last year but yeah it's quite a slope body that's so so much that I'm actually if you know I'm not actually in the middle of the row of straw. Baylor is actually hanging hanging down sideways because it's so steep. Anyway it's the last row on this field. Right morning guys it's Friday morning late last night probably about one half past one we have problems here uh, this shaft through here got bent ever so slightly and put everything in all out of sync so we've had to have some uh, the guys been out he's just fixed it just uh, retying the string here and then we should be up and running so that's this baler and then the other baler went wrong that went wrong at about seven o'clock in the evening he's now fixing that that's a pressure issue where we're not getting any pressure so yesterday evening one baler went down at uh the seven the sledge stopped working on the back here that stopped working about half past seven and then this baler went down at half past one one half past this morning so first then we fiddled about with it an hour we couldn't do it so we had to have the, the specialist out the dealer out to look at it so this morning, as of when, when we woke up and got up, we had no working bailers, but we've got this one back together now. We're just it's working on the other one. There you go, all three of us in shot. The load is behind, the smaller bailers there. Yeah, we're both up and running now. The other one had a valve gone that was adjusting the pressure. This one you can see in the shop now. So yeah, we're now tidying up these last two rows on our own land before we go out. But just as we started, I don't know if you can see on the window there, there's a bit of rain. But anyway, it's not too much. We're up at, not the moisture's too wet here, we're just bailing to get this bit finished. So, we had a little bit of a shower here yesterday afternoon, but yeah. Anyway, we're moving. As I've said in my previous videos, I believe in God and I believe he sends all these problems and everything, so we just have to. As I said before, submit and just uh, carry on. Not, not everything is a, a bed of roses. If you have problems, you, you name it, whatever business you're in, you, you guys who are watching me, tell me you're a farmer, but I don't, I don't think you all are. Whatever business you're in, you always have bad days and problems, but yeah. So, anyway, just a quick update on the situation. Right, it's Saturday now. I'm not sure what the date is. I've lost track of the days this week, but I'm bailing some of this um, rye straw. 
it's very tall, so that there's so much straw over here, we can't actually get it all under the track that won't fit under, so we have to split it here. So we've got two rows. This was the original row. We pulled that off there. And the guy is actually over here, right beside me, splitting the rows in half. Yeah, it's been proving to be a bit, a bit of a challenge and stuff. But it's job getting in exactly the right place. Because I like hear that the remaining swath is a bit big and there it's a bit small. So it's a real job to get it exactly right. Because if you put the tractor wheels, the ones you can see me this side, on top of that the swath, it won't pick it up. So, but we're getting there slowly. So that means when I'm baiting, I'll just have this row, I'm going a bit slower. And then when I go on that one, I'm going a bit faster, but at least it means it will fit under the tractor and not bunching, because what's happened, the straw is so wide, the pickup wasn't picking it all up, it'll pull out the side, and then it'll try and pull the whole lot into the baler, and it would uh, block up, block up the pickup, or bust the shear bolt, or, and we've also had other problems, because why this uh, tends to be a bit waxy, it doesn't slide through the thing very well, so I've had to slacken the spring pressure off, so it'll pull the, the stuff will go more often, so it means it's not putting so much pressure on the thing. Although I was busting, busting shear bolts, I've had, well, I've done, I've done 46 bales, and I've, I broke four, four shear bolts. Not the flywheel ones, the stuff is shear bolt. But anyway, we seem to rectify it, and we're going up, getting along now. So we've actually got the loader over here as well, because there's rain coming. If you look over there, you can see it's a bit dark. So you'll, He'll split up a couple of free rows for me, and then he'll jump on the loader and stand them all up. Right, I've got a problem with this turner here. This bar, this stay bar here, there was one the other side and that got, was a bit bent there probably for about the last two years. But today it finally gave way, it snapped off, uh, where is it, there at the bottom there. So we had to um, improvise with some baler time. We nicked out of the baler just to hold it so we could carry on using it. We managed to carry on using it, but now we've got to take it home. And I don't fancy taking that on the road like that. It's not safe. If I snap, the whole thing comes off because this little thing here in the middle, there, that goes slides backwards and forwards. And without that there, that just came right out here and fell off. So, yeah, we're now heading back to the farm to try and talk this out. All right, this was the rod that was bent. It was a little bit bent in the middle there. But then when it came off, it got bent even more. So. Yeah, and this is the bit that snapped off the end, it snapped off. Right there, obviously, at the weak point. So yeah, that should be coming up in next week's video. The repairing of this and some other stuff as well. I think we should be in for a good week of weather after the rain of the next couple of days has, has gone. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this video. It's getting rather long now, but I hope you're alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody.